Hey friends, welcome back. I hope you're having a lovely time wherever you are. I hope the weather is better wherever you're at than it is Las Vegas. It's kind of dreary here. Um, I'm dying for some sunlight. I guess I'll have to wait till the summertime again for that because every day I wake up and I'm like, please let there be sun and then it's just clouds. So today I have um, a couple more boxes of things that my friend Never Too Old for Toys, Amanda, gifted to me recently. And um, these are really special and like she says, these are considered a treat. This is from a brand called Rement, not just because it's Pokemon. Um, Rement makes miniature stuff in like all brands. Um, here's another one. So Rement is known for making really cute miniatures. However, they're very detailed, really pretty, great quality and more expensive than your average toy. So I don't know if I would call these toys, I would go on more of the artwork, <laughs> the artwork category. And um, let us, I don't even know which one to open first. Let's open the Pikachu first, because I've been l looking at this one for days. <laughs> sometimes rement pieces you have to put together and then sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's already put together for you. If you're building like a dollhouse or something, um, or you have a dollhouse, all this stuff is great to put in there. But only as like, not a kid that's gonna be playing with it, really. These are like all little tiny works of art. And I'm excited to see this Pikachu one. I wonder if it's built already or if I have to do anything. What is this little card in here? Okay, there's a little card of all the different ones you can get. Oh, so I, I don't necessarily have Pikachu. It could be Pikachu. I think that might be more Mokuro. I don't know who that one is. Alola Raccoon. Oh, these names are all in their um, whatever language is on this card. But I'll show you, these are all the different ones that you can get. They're really small photos. So um, the bigger photos are actually on the packaging. So there's these three. Pikachu, whatever this one is, and then the Vulpix. And then these other three on the other side. Um, Raichu, and then I don't know who the other two are, but those are all the six different ones you can get. And I will love any one of them because these are really, really neat. Oh my God, I think we got Pikachu. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think I got the Pikachu, so I see a little yellow butt. <laughs> There's a little yellow butt in here. Oh my gosh, Amanda, I got the Pikachu. I got the Pikachu. That's the one I wanted the most. That's totally the one I wanted the most. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you get this little, this little, um, plastic or acrylic uh, Pokeball. And um, there's a the little scene, so here's all the little pieces. Pika, Pika, oh my gosh. So here's the little um, backdrop or setting. It's a little cloud with the moon and some, I don't know if this is water or just supposed to be the sky. And then there's a little, it looks like a little pier. I think the legs snap into, snap into here. Gotta figure it out first. Oh, maybe, is there some instructions? I feel like maybe this way. Oh yeah, because that, that is the shape of the thing. Okay, I don't think it's supposed to go all the way down. Because <laughs> it's supposed to be a little, I think it's water. And then this little quote unquote table thingy is a little, a little pier or dock, pier, dock, either one. Favorite part. So this is 
Pikachu and um, he comes with a newer character that's not in Pokemon Go but if you like Pokemon the card game or play the video games you've probably seen Cosmog. I collect the cards so I've seen Cosmog. But yeah, he's newer. He's not in the game yet. So we've got those. Pikachu has a little hole in his butt. And he goes on this little dock. I keep having to take it out. He goes on the little dock. Amanda, how did you get the one I wanted? Woo! And then... Looks like he's supposed to hold Cosmog. Now, Cosmog is not going to stay there in Pikachu's hands like that. But I have some double-sided tape that's going to hold him in place. And not double-sided tape. They're called, um, they're these little circles that are double-sided. It's like the stuff that um, your credit cards or things get attached, coupons get attached into the side of mail. Oops, sorry, I was holding that too low. So the little lid goes on here. I'm not gonna snap it shut till I get Cosmog held in place with the, oh, they're called Zots. They're called Zots and you can find them at Michael's. And I use them for all kinds of my toys um, when I do photography or um, just when I have like a display and I don't want them to shake around. I'll use the Zots, and they come in all different sizes from large to itty bitty tiny, and they just hold my figures in place. Okay, let's open this flower teacup. And like Amanda, I don't like ruining these boxes because they're very pretty, but I want the figure. Oh, so I didn't get to show you before we open it. These um, are three of the six options that you can get. I don't know their name. Uh, it's Rilakkuma, the bear, but I don't know what his friends' names are. That one's really cute with the two bears on the top. And then here on the other side are the other three options you can get. They're all like little teapots or teacups with a little bear inside. And we got the teapot! Amanda, these are so cute. You find like the best ones. I am sure you find these online because like you and me have both discussed, these are really super hard to find in person. And when I find them in person, it's like, I don't know about you, but they're like limited to whatever the store has. And then like my store will have the same themes for like ever till they sell out because these are a little bit pricier than your regular toys. Okay, everybody. Um, Okay, so in you get the little teapot, and inside the little teapot there's a little white base. It's probably for the figures to stick into. And then we've got we've got Rila Kuma with a strawberry and a little um, chick on his head. And then we got sorry, we got a little green flower and um, a strawberry and a little leaf to go inside the pot. And then in the last compartment, we have whoop, um, four of these little daisy flowers. Okay, so let's see, how do we put this one together? Photo, photo. Oh, that's cute. Maybe I should put the very last. Oh. Hmm. Is there a little, there's no little, oh, there is a little paper. I must have missed it. Because all the flowers are numbered for how they go into, oh, for how they're supposed to go into the pot. I'm going over 10 minutes. Sorry, guys. Number three goes in here. And then number two goes in here. Oh, these are so small, I don't want to break them. Two and three. One. Uh, 
is five. This is four. Six. Oh, and put the bear on. This is so cute. All right, now we're gonna get in the teapot. Sorry, I went, went so way over the amount of time I normally do. All right, so that is so cute. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys. This is great. All right, so it's a little floral arrangement inside of a teapot with the little bear and the, the chick. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I can't wait to take better pictures of these for you guys so you can see Pikachu all put together and Rila Kuma, so. Thank you guys so much for watching, watching me struggle, watching me nervously talk. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day if I don't see you again in another video. And take care. Ciao.